Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to collect 80 lumen spars in the chasm. So let's get straight into it. And before we start, I would recommend you to first complete the World Quest series, The Chasm Delvers, and you will unlock this new map for you. Alright, then following the quest navigation, you will get the first one. And this one is included in the quest so I'm pretty sure that you have got it already. And I recommend you to first finish this Warcraft series and then come back to this video or you can do it simultaneously. And I'll put links in the video's description below in case you need. And from this quest you will get this gadget Lumenstone Adjuvant. So be sure to equip it while you are in this region as it will help to light up your surroundings. Alright, then if you have completed this Warcraft series, you can skip ahead in the video. Otherwise, here I will just show you a speed run of the first part in order to make the map visible. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And then let's head towards south, downward on the minimap. It's floating near this construction. So let's glide towards it. After that, we're going to head towards this location. So head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap, and follow this path. Come to the edge here, use your elemental sight. To your left, you will see a jumping platform. So let's glide towards it. Now use it to jump up and head towards west, left side on the minimap, and go into this tunnel. In here you will find a Sealy, and behind it there's the Lumen Spar. Alright, after that, let's go back. Come to this end, and we're going to glide towards east, right side on the minimap. This one is in the middle of the bridge. After that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And let's head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. This one is floating in the open. Then keep heading towards northeast, upper right on the minimap, and follow this path. This one is floating up there. Alright, after that, let's teleport back to this waypoint. We're going to turn around and head towards south, downward on the minimap. Let's take the stairs here. Come to the edge here, use your elemental sight. You will see that there's a jumping platform, so let's glide towards it. Then jump and climb up. You will find a wooden platform. And here turn towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Look up, there's the lumen spar. So let's climb up here. After that, turn towards northeast, upper right on the minimap and look down. You will see the next lumen spar floating on this rope. So let's glide towards it. Then turn towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. There's the waypoint. So take the chance to unlock it if you haven't yet. And here a trick is to use a bow character and use the aim mode. And you will make sure that you do not fall off this rope. 
or if you have unlocked this waypoint already, you can teleport to it and skip ahead in the video. Alright, from this waypoint, let's head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Look down, there's the lumen spar floating above the water. After that, head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. Come to the edge here and face towards north. Look down, there's the lumen spar on this wooden deck. Or right, after that, let's teleport back to this waypoint. And turn around, go up the stairs here and head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. Here, look down, there's one. Alright, after that, turn towards north, upward on the minimap. You will find this lumen spar near this rock. So let's climb up here. We are going to use this rope. And hang on to this rock. Here, save some stamina. Cause after this, we are going to keep gliding. After this, turn towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. You will see the next lumen spar there. So let's drop down and glide towards it. After that, let's head towards east, right side on the minimap. And let's glide down here. Then keep going towards east, right side on the minimap, you can see this one here. After that, head towards west, left side on the minimap. Let's jump down here, you will find a cave entrance. Come near this bridge and look down. There's the lumen spar floating above the water. After that, let's head towards east, right side on the minimap, and follow this path. Come all the way here, we are going to take a right turn, and let's follow this path. Or after that, let's teleport back to this waypoint. Let's go up the stairs here and follow the path. Come all the way here and head towards west, left side on the minimap. Go across the bridge. And let's go through this tunnel. And at the end here you will find a lumen spar. This one is part of the quest, so I'm sure you have got it already. After that, if you have unlocked this waypoint, you can go ahead and teleport there and skip ahead in the video. Otherwise, you can follow this path to unlock it. Alright, then from here, let's turn towards west, left side on the minimap. You will find this one here, close to the waypoint. After that, let's jump down here. There's one in the bottom. After that, let's head towards north. Go up here, let's use the jumping platform. And jump up and head towards west, left side on the minimap. I'll find a second jumping platform. So jump up and keep heading towards this direction. And there's one between the rocks. After that, keep heading towards west, left side on the minimap. And here, take a right turn. So turn towards north, upward on the minimap. Let's follow this path. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. 
And let's turn around and go up the stairs here and head towards northwest upper left on the minimap. Come to the edge here and look down, there's one. After that, turn towards southwest bottom left on the minimap. Come to the edge here, you will see there's one near the post. Then let's head towards southeast bottom right on the minimap. You will see this one floating on this deck. And from here let's glide towards northeast upper right on the minimap. You can see this one up there. After that, let's glide towards south downward on the minimap. And to your right, you will see this one near the wooden boxes here. Then let's turn around and head towards north. Here you will find a jumping platform. So let's use it and jump up and head towards east right side on the minimap. This one is floating on top of this rock. Then let's turn around and let's head towards southwest bottom left on the minimap. Then let's go along this train track. Now if this gate is locked for you, that means you need to finish your World Quest series first. The Heavenly Stone Daybreeds. After that, let's enter here and to your left, there's the stairs. Come up the stairs here, there's one. After that, let's exit this place. And here to our right, let's climb up here. Here use your elemental sight. You will see that there's a jumping platform nearby. So let's use it to jump up and glide towards east right side on the minimap. And let's climb up here. All the way to the top, there's one. Then turn towards southwest bottom left on the minimap. There's the waypoint if you haven't unlocked it already. Then let's turn towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. To our left, there's one. After that, let's turn around and head towards west, left side on the minimap. Let's climb up on these rocks here. And from here, let's head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Go up the stairs here. You will find a Sealy. So from here let's climb up and here turn to your left. So turn towards east right side on the minimap. You will find an entrance. So let's go towards it. Follow this path and you will find two barrels. So let's ignite them to break the rocks. And you will find this one floating near the root. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And let's turn towards west, left side on the minimap. You will find an entrance there. So let's head towards there and follow the path. And from here, let's take a right turn. So head towards west, left side on the minimap. Then head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. Come to the edge here, you will find this one to your left. So let's glide towards it. After that, turn towards north, upward on the minimap. Use your elemental sight. You will see that there's a jumping platform behind this locked chest. So let's use it to jump up and climb up on these rocks. Here you will find a second jumping platform. And we're going to jump up and head towards north. Look up and use your elemental sight. You will see that there's another jumping platform. So we're going to head towards that direction. 
Then from here let's turn towards west, left side on the minimap, and let's jump towards this direction. Up here you will find a Sealy and also a Lumens Bar. After that, let's follow this path. And you will see this one floating on this route. Then let's keep following this path and go along this edge. And here you will find a barrier. And in front, there's a lumens bar. After that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Now, if you haven't upgraded your adjuvant, it's a good time to do it now. So let's teleport to this waypoint and find NPC Jungwu. So far, we have collected 38 lumens bars, so you should be able to upgrade it to level 4 at least. Alright, after that, let's teleport back to this waypoint and let's continue. And let's jump down here and glide around. You will find an entrance here. And if it's blocked for you, that means you haven't completed the world quest yet. In that case, go ahead and do it first. Then let's go along this tunnel and follow the path. And here to your right, there's one floating near the table. Then let's continue and follow this tunnel. Or if you have the waypoint below unlocked, you can teleport there directly. Then from here, let's turn towards west, left side on the minimap. Look down, there's one. Then let's glide towards south, downward on the minimap. Use your elemental sight, you will see that there's a jumping platform. So use it to jump up and glide towards this one floating near the construction. Then keep heading towards south. Here use the jumping platform to jump up. Then let's head towards west, left side on the minimap. You can see this one floating above the pillar. Alright, after this, you will have to complete the world quest, the Heavenly Stone Staybreed, and activate three mechanisms in order to unlock the next waypoint. After that, let's head towards south, and on the way, you will find your second Lumen Stone Ore. And here, let's jump down. And in the middle of the cave here, you will find a lumen spar. After that, let's jump all the way down. And you can unlock this waypoint which is not shown on the map. Then from here, let's head towards west, left side on the minimap. You will find this one floating above the pillar. Then keep heading towards west. Climb over the rocks here, you will find a jumping platform. So we are going to use it to jump up and glide towards west. You can see the next one up there. Then from here let's head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. You can see this one up there. Alright, after that, let's go to this location. So glide along these rocks here. And you will see this one floating on top of this pillar. Alright, after that, we are going to teleport to this waypoint. And if you haven't unlocked this waypoint yet, you can follow this path and go all the way here. So pause the video and do that first. After you have arrived here, we're first going to upgrade our adjuvant again. So far we have gathered 48 lumens bars, so you should be able to upgrade your adjuvant to at least level 6. 
then let's teleport back to this waypoint and let's turn towards north upward on the minimap and climb up here turn around there's one after that turn towards west left side on the minimap you can see this one so let's glide towards it then let's head towards north upward on the minimap and follow this path come to this jumping platform here we are going to use it to jump across to the opposite side and here you will find an animal pillar here look up you will see the lumens bar floating up there so use an animal character to activate this pillar and a wind current will appear so ride the wind current up and collect this one all right after that let's come back down and head towards south downward on the minimap come to this small waterfall here and look down use your elemental sight you can see that there's a rock pile so let's break it there's one inside after that let's teleport back to this waypoint we're going to head towards this pillar so let's glide across and follow the path we're going to climb up here from inside then turn towards northwest upper left on the minimap look up you will see this one floating on this pillar after that let's glide towards southeast bottom right on the minimap at this end you will find a barrier so let's cleanse it and inside you will find a lumens bar after that we are going to go all the way down here so follow the path come all the way here take a right turn you will see this one floating on this pillar after that let's jump down here all the way down and from here let's glide towards southwest bottom left on the minimap this one is on top of this mushroom then turn towards south downward on the minimap this one is on top of the water Or right, after that, if you have unlocked this waypoint, you can teleport there and skip ahead in the video. Otherwise, you can go along this path and unlock it. Alright, then from this waypoint, we are going to head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. And you will see this one floating near the route. Then let's glide around this rock and head towards west, left side on the minimap. Here you will find a small waterfall and in front there's one. After that, keep following this river and look towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap, you will find a giant mushroom and the next one is on top of this smaller mushroom. After that, let's teleport to this waypoint and head towards south downward on the minimap and follow the path. Come to this end here, you will find a lighting device and take a right turn, so turn towards west left side on the minimap. Down there you will find one surrounded by this explosive. After that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And if you don't have this waypoint unlocked, you can simply go along this path and you will come to this waypoint. Then turn towards east, right side on the minimap, you will find a barrier. So let's cleanse it. Go in here and follow the path.
Then let's teleport back. And let's glide towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. There's one near the bridge here. Then follow this bridge and go towards south downward on the minimap. And go up the stairs here and follow the path. You should have been to this place if you have completed the world quest. So come to this post here and we're going to climb up. And from here look up, you will see this one floating on this pillar. After that, turn towards northeast upper right on the minimap. You will find the next one floating on this pillar. Then let's teleport back. And we're going to glide towards west, left side on the minimap, and drop down here. Go along this rock, you will find the next one between the rocks. After that, let's teleport back again. And let's glide towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. You will see a cave entrance. So let's enter here and follow the path. And to your left, you will find the next one. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And let's head towards west, left side on the minimap, and follow this path. And on the way, you will find this one. And also to your left, in this tent, there's a lumen stone ore. So remember to pick it up. After that, continue following this path and come all the way here. We're going to jump down and this one is in front of a monster. After that, we're going to teleport to this waypoint and if you don't have it unlocked, you can go along this path and you will arrive at this waypoint. Then let's teleport here and turn around. Go along this path you will find this one near the wall. Then let's teleport back and you will see this one right in front on this stone bridge. Alright after that we are going to teleport to this waypoint. And if you don't have it unlocked yet, I will show you how. And for those who did unlock this waypoint, you can teleport there and skip ahead in the video. Climb up the pillars here and at the end you will find a jumping platform. And from here we are going to jump towards this pillar. Climb up and you will arrive at this waypoint. Alright, then for you who have teleported to this waypoint, directly to your right there is the lumens bar. After that let's head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap and follow this path. Then let's teleport back and let's glide towards northeast upper right on the minimap. Climb up here and follow the path. Alright, for the next part, we are going to do the Archon quest, the Grave of the Guarded. And you need to complete this quest in order to unlock a barrier and gain access to the nameless ruins. And there you will also find a teleport waypoint which is not displayed on the map. So if you have completed this world quest and also unlocked the hidden waypoint, then you can skip ahead in the video. Otherwise I will show you where to find the hidden waypoint now. And here's the location. And to unlock this waypoint, you will actually have to climb up on this pillar. Alright, after that, let's head towards south, downward on the minimap, and climb up here, and follow this path.
then turn around. We are going to head towards north, up or on the minimap. Come to this edge, we are going to glide down slowly. We are going to enter the middle tower here. And go around, you will find an opening. And from here look down. Use your elemental sight, you can see a chest there as well. So glide down here and descend slowly. There's a luminous bar floating underneath. Alright after that, we are going to head towards this location. So follow this path and all the way here. After that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And if you don't have it unlocked, you can follow this path and arrive here. And then let's head towards south, downward on the minimap. To your right, there's one in the open. Alright, for the next one, we're going to solve a little puzzle. So first, let's teleport to this waypoint. And let's head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap and follow this path. Here to your left, you will find a treasure holder's camp. And there's a locked chest. And on one of the posts, there's a treasure fragment. So let's obtain it. After that, we're going to teleport to Liyue. And we're going to teleport to this waypoint near Lumber Peak Valley. And we're going to head towards this location. And here near this camp, you will find a second treasure fragment on this post. Alright, after that, we're going to teleport to this waypoint near Tengong Gorge. And to your right, use your elemental sight. You can see that there's a rock pile. So let's break it. And inside you will find a jumping platform. So let's use it to jump up and head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Climb up here and follow the path. Here you will find another jumping platform. So let's use it to jump up. Climb up here you will find a treasure holder's camp and a locked chest. In front there's explosive. So let's ignite it and in the camp it will start burning. After that, a door will be revealed and we can actually enter the chasm from here. Enter it and you will get an achievement. And inside here you will find two more chests and also a lumen bar. You can also unlock this gate by operating on the switch to your left. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And let's head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. Let's jump down here and glide towards north. Come to this bridge here and follow the path. Here you will find a barrier, so let's cleanse it. And inside here you will find the last lumens bar. And that's all 80 lumens bars in the chasm. Now we can teleport to this waypoint and find NPC Jinwu to upgrade our adjuvant to level 10. And that's it. If you find this video helpful, remember to subscribe and leave a like. And I will see you in the next one.